Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jodi and I help you change your beliefs so you can change your body, your health, and your life. For this video, I wanna to respond to a comment I got because I know a lot of you think like this and it's actually keeping you stuck. So much of this is mindset work and starting out with the right mindset is going to make the difference between you getting where you wanna go or staying where you are. At the end of the day, your thoughts shape your beliefs and your beliefs create your reality. So if you want to change your reality, including changing your body, you have to change your beliefs and that starts with changing your thoughts and how you think. Problem is a lot of your beliefs and your thoughts are actually subconscious. So you need to do work to bring them to your awareness so you can change them. I don't wanna get into that anymore in this video. I'm going to just respond to this comment. The problem is that most of us untrained ones cannot do compound moves. Because I've said before, if you wanna go through the body recomposition process, if you wanna build muscle, lose body fat, if you want to weight train effectively, you need to be prioritizing compound lifts and not so much the isolation work. You can do isolation movements, sure, but put them towards the end of your session and make sure compound lifts make up the majority of your workout. As I said before, mindset is so important. You can't start this by telling yourself you can't do something. Every one of you can do compound movements, but you have to start with the right level of that compound movement for where you're at. But like I said in a previous video, you don't start with a barbell back squat if you can't do a regular body weight squat. And if you can't do a push up, then start with an incline push up or start with push ups from your knees and then work your way up to doing a push up. And same with pull ups. If you can't do a pull up, most of you can't do a pull up, that is fine. Start by using assistance or start with a lat pull down first instead. This is where having an appropriate program for your skill level really comes into it. But the most important thing comes back to your mindset. If you're telling yourself you can't do something and then choosing the easier exercises because that's what you can do, you're never gonna get anywhere. If you wanna change, you have to push yourself out of your comfort zone. You have to do things that are hard in the beginning. And if you keep doing them, they will get easier. You will get better. And that is how change is created in your body, given that you're eating the right amount of food. You can't limit yourself based on where you're at. If you do, you are going to keep yourself stuck. And this works with so many things, not just your body composition. One of my favorite things to talk about actually is money and how you're keeping yourself stuck with your mindset around money. I know so many people limit themselves with money because they have that belief that they can only earn money through their job and they play in the energy of their current income. You play in that energy, that is what you are going to get. If you want more, you have to live in the energy of having more and you also have to be open to the idea of money coming into you in other means. Anyway, so back to the comment. We might need to do some workouts with dumbbells in order to grow some muscles at least, then do compound exercise. We're really not going to grow much muscle mass by only doing isolation exercises. So this comment in itself is incorrect. Again, you are limiting yourself by believing that. We are much better off doing mostly compound exercises to build that foundational strength and muscle mass. So make sure you start with the right program for you. Don't do an advanced program if you're not advanced. Now, the last thing I wanna say in relation to this comment is you can do dumbbell exercises and have them be compound movements. You can also use machines in the gym to help you as well. Not all dumbbell exercises are isolation movements, just like not all machine movements are compound movements. And if you can't do something, if you can't do a push up, if you can't do a squat, that's actually cool because it means you have a lot of room for making progress and improving. And that is how you're going to see the greatest change in your body. So don't give up and don't limit yourself from the very start. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or send me an email. If you liked it, please like it. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And if that is the case, I will see you in the next video.